Hello everyone, welcome back to the Blockman Editor tutorial. In these videos, we will give you a complete introduction to the Blockman Editor. This lesson will introduce to you how to use the Actor Editor. Enter the Editor, the Actor model shown in the scene is made using the Actor Editor. Next, we will use the Actor Editor to create the Actor model step by step. Click the new button in the Assets view, and select New Actor. First, we need to bind a skeleton file to the new actor. Here we can use the skeleton file provided by the editor, which is located under the school folder. After binding the skeleton, enter a name for the new actor, click the Confirm button, and we have completed the creation of the new actor. Double click on the created actor file to open the actor editor. In the Actor Editor, the first thing we need to do is to assemble the actor's appearance. Actor appearance is composed of appearance components such as skins, mesh models, and effects. You can get the appearance parts mentioned here from the store. Here we have downloaded the appearance resources in advance, and now we can start assembling. Right-click in the Appearance Action list to open the menu, and click on the Add Skin option. Let's first add a skin appearance. The skin file stores the appearance of the model, as well as the model's binding information to the skeleton. So once the skin file is added, its size and position are already fixed. If you want to add some additional effects to the skin appearance, for example, to make it transparent, you can set it in the properties view of the skin. Please try them out at your leisure. When the skin appearance is successfully added, a node will appear between the skin appearance the actor root node. This node is called an appearance group, which is a container for storing and managing appearance parts. When assembling actor appearances, we often add multiple appearance groups, and to make it easier to manage, we modify the names of the appearance groups according to the appearance added. For example, here we are adding the body part of the actor. So we rename this appearance group to body. Then we'll add another mesh model appearance to the appearance action list. After successfully adding it, you will find that the mesh model is displayed in the incorrect position. Because unlike the skin file, the mesh model is not bound to a bone. Thus we need to set the position of the mesh model on the actor. Find bind position in the properties view of the mesh model, and open the drop down menu. You will find many hang points in the menu, these hang points refer to the various parts of the actor's body. We can click the view button in the scene window to display both the actor's hang points and the skeleton hang point names. At the same time, we can click the background button in the scene window to adjust the background to a dark background. Then we can choose a suitable hang point for the mesh model. Here we choose the behead hang point. Now let's add the remaining appearance parts to complete the actor's appearance. The actor's appearance we looked at earlier has an effect, so we also have to add an effect appearance to the actor. Right click on the actor file to open the menu, and click on the add effect option to add the prepared effect file to it. At this point, the effects are under the actor's feet, and we need to make the effects appear behind the actor. Find the offset property in the properties view of the effect and adjust it. Now we have completed assembling the appearance of the actor. In addition to setting the appearance of the model, we can also add actions to the actor in the actor editor. Click the actions button in the appearance actions list, then click the new button at the bottom to add our prepared running action. Click the play button in the action editing panel, and you can see the effect of the action being played. From earlier, when the shown actor is moving, the running action is always played, but the action here stops after being played once. To achieve the effect of looping the action, we also have to adjust the action. Click on the blue timeline in the action editing panel, and you can see the properties of this action in the properties view. Here we check the Enable Loop Playback property, so that the action can be played in a constant loop. 
In the previous shown effects, the actor run with effects. Now let's add some effects to the action. Click the add button in the action editing panel, there is an option to add effect here. Click on this option to add the prepared smoke effect to the action editing panel. After the effect is added, we also have to adjust the position of the effect. Click on the yellow timeline in the action editing panel, and you can see the properties of the effect. To adjust the effect to the specified position, we need to adjust two properties. First, we have to adjust the bind position of the effect. Here we choose the spine so that the effect will appear directly behind the actor. Then modify the offset property of the effect to adjust the effect to the actor's feet so that the effect will be played at the position we specify. Now we add all the prepared actions to the actor file and change the name of the actions. Here you might want to pay attention to the naming rule of the action. There are some default action names in the editor, if you name the action with these default names. Then when the entity using this model activates, the corresponding state in the game, it will automatically play the corresponding action. For more information about the default name of the actions, you can check the user manual in the official website. Now let's change all the additional actions to their default names, and go back to the editor. In the player entities properties view, find the male actor model property, and replace the model with the edited actor model. Then click the run button. When the entity is stationary, the idle action of the actor will be played automatically. When we control the entity to move forward, the actor's run action will be played automatically. When we control the entity to jump, it will automatically play the actor's jump action. That's all for this video. We hope it can help you on your way to a great creator. If you want to know more about the editor, you can comment below the video or post on the official forum. See you in the next video.